In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to change your IP address by using the net shell command. First, open a command prompt. Now, at the command prompt, type in netsh. NetSH opens up a lot of command line utilities that allow you to manage the network configuration of your local machine, including the firewall, uh, VPN properties, as well as just the basic IP itself. We're going to focus in on the use of the interface uh, subset commands. By typing in interface, it puts us within the NetShell interface uh, context, so all commands now will affect that interface. A question mark reveals the additional commands we can issue from this point, which include managing both IPv4 and IPv6 settings. We'll manage IPv4. Now in the IP version 4 settings, you'll notice we can show current information, set information, add or remove entries, completely uninstall the IP protocol, though I don't typically recommend that. Let's take a look at set. With set question mark, you'll see that we can set the uh, address and the default gateway. We could also set the DNS server and manage other properties here as well. Let's set the address. And we see all the different sub options available for us, the parameters available for this particular command. You'll notice we can set the address for a particular connection, name equals, in this case, local area connection, source to be DHCP, and we can set the address of a local area connection to a static value, which indicates the IP address, its subnet mask, and its default gateway. Notice that in this case, the first line demonstrates showing name equals, which is not necessary. Uh, if you simply want to put the pieces, the parameters, in the correct order, they'll be assimilated just the way you'd expect. So let's try that. Set address, local area connection, in quotes because there's spaces in the local area connection name, to a static value, 192.168.1.1, with a triple two five five mask, and 192.168.1.254 is the default gateway. While I'm at it, I can set the DNS server address for the local area connection to also be static rather than DHCP based and define that it's located the DNS server at 192.168.1.2 Show address as you can see shows you the current IP properties for the local area connection Show DNS server, shows your DC, D8, DNS properties. Or, of course, plain old IP config, which also reveals the same information. This concludes our lesson on how to use NetShell to change your local IP address. Keep in mind, this could be an effective tool in scripting if you have clients who need to quickly go back and forth between DHCP-based address and a static configuration by simply having two batch files that toggle between one mechanism and the other.